All right, guys, what is going on? My name is 4G, and today I'm going to be telling you guys about the best and easiest ways to get materials in Fortnite. Now, before I start this video, I'm going to ask you guys if you could please click that like button as it really does help out the channel. And if you want to see more great daily Fortnite content, hit that subscribe button. And also, why not hit the notification bell while you're at it? Also, for people waiting on the Fortnite China invite code giveaway, I have some news about that that I think you will want to hear. It will be at the end of this video. All right, guys, so I'm going to be showing you the best ways how to farm all three resources in Fortnite Battle Royale. And I'm going to be showing you some of these spots you can find these items on the Fortnite map as well. The way materials drop in Fortnite are constantly being nerfed. Hopefully, Epic Games stops nerfing, but a way we can get around this is by farming mats. And of course, eliminating someone that has a lot of material. But I'm going to be talking about farming today since I don't think you need a tutorial on how to eliminate someone that has a lot of materials. All right, so let's get started with the main resource, wood. Now, most people would probably think that farming trees is the best way to farm wood in Fortnite. This just simply is not true. Yes, farming trees is a very good way to farm wood as trees are found in all parts of the map except the desert. But actually, the best way to farm for wood is by breaking wood and fences. This gets you so many resources. This is the best way to farm wood, especially if you frequently drop places such as Pleasant Park, Retail Row, Salty Springs, Greasy Grove, or Risky Reels. As most of you know, those are very popular locations, so chances are you will be dropping one of those locations. Now, another good thing to farm for wood is plants. Now, recently, Epic Games, for some reason, has increased the health of these plants found around the map. They will take a little bit more HP to hit than they used to, but they are still good ways to get materials. Onto stone. Of course, the best way to farm stone is still going over to Fatal Fields or the Umbrella Mine. These are places filled with stone and you can get to max stone very easily. Now, if you don't want to drop near Fatal Fields or the Umbrella Mine, and chances are you don't since those places aren't the most popular dropping locations, another good way to farm stone is by farming these giant head statues that were added into Season 5. Now, don't farm the bottoms of them first. Try to hit the top parts first to maximize the materials you can get. Stone is almost as important as wood now. Since Epic Games nerfed the HP of building, wood is mainly useful for pushing and temporary builds. And when you actually want to make a base, it's recommended to use stone or at least metal. Speaking of metal, and I don't have the best tips for this material, as the main ways to get a good amount of metal are actually pretty obvious. Best place to go to farm metal is the cargo shipment container location. All of these cargo containers can give you a ton of metal but the quickest way to farm metal is by destroying cars. Like I said, these are pretty obvious farming methods, but it might not be obvious for someone who is just starting out in the game. So I still wanted to include it in this video. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. But if you want to hear about the info about the Fortnite invite code giveaway, here it is. All right, so there was a delay with the giveaway, unfortunately, due to the fact that I was having issues loading up the game. And I need to load up the game so I can get the 20 hours of playtime. That's how you get friend codes, if you didn't know already. Anyways, I'm going to be getting my 20 hours done very soon now that I finally got the game to run properly. And then I should get my friend codes very soon. So the giveaway will be in the next three days about. Again, I'm very sorry for the delay, guys. I know you guys are excited to play the Chinese version of Fortnite. And I'm trying my best now to get that out to you guys as many codes as I can get, but giveaway will be very soon. Last thing about the giveaway I want to talk about is that this is not a one-time giveaway. I get three friend codes per week, so I'll be giving away three friend codes per week. If you want one, be active on my channel by liking, subscribing, and having notifications turned on, and so that you know exactly when I announce the giveaway winners or future giveaways, because I'm going to be doing a ton of these in the future until Fortnite China is no longer invite only, and you guys can just, whoever doesn't have an invite code can just get it without that. But as long as they have invite codes, I'll be doing this. I'll be doing invite code giveaways once a week starting now. All right, guys. Thank you so much for staying until the end of the video. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, guys.